So here's the thing. If you know me or know my channel, I am all about organization. And one of the things I do is break out everything in its own individual bag because I know where everything's at. I know a lot of you guys out there love to just throw everything in your pack. Don't use stuff sacks because it uses up the best of the room in the pack. I get it, okay? But I can't do that. The engineer in me just won't allow it. I got to have organization all day long. So one of the things I've been working on is cleaning up my ditty bag. And my buddies over at Hilltop Packs, they have a lot of cool bags. And they have a lot of different uh, types of bags, Ziploc bags for different types of situations situations uh this is my cosmetic bag this is my i guess uh everything i need bag extra miscellaneous bag that's a better name for it and then i have one from hartford gear which i use for my contacts the solution works perfect and honestly hartford gear i think she's opening up an actual business suite uh these work really well too this has been perfect for my contacts and glasses now the last thing in there that is something i have carried probably close to five years now um this is the i can't even remember the brand now this is a venture medicals kit i might have did a video years ago um this has been my first aid kit for years and um it honestly has gone on me with every trip every day trip every multi-day trip um, and I have wanted to kind of build my own because I know what's in there, um, utilize what I feel like is more useful to me, um, and be able to just create another setup in another one of these Ziploc bags from Hilltop Packs that uh, I'm excited to show you today. We are actually going to fill this with the gear I have picked out um, for this first aid kit. I say gear, but supplies for this first aid kit. And uh, just show you what I decided to go with and what I'm gonna be putting in it. I might add stuff more later. Um, I might take stuff away, but I think I'm gonna come out lighter and virtually almost have the same supplies in there that I have in my old medical kit, but uh, have it more custom to what I think I need. Um, I'm definitely no expert, but I feel like these things will work for me. All right, guys, one thing that is for sure before we get into this, this is my disclaimer. This is not advice on how to make a first aid kit for yourself. This is me showing you what I'm doing for my first aid kit. So if you're out in the back country and something goes wrong, and the supplies you don't need is because some country boy on YouTube told you you didn't need it. It is not my fault because I'm not giving you advice. I'm just showing you what I did for my kit. Maybe give you some ideas for your kit, but you really need to think about what you need for yours because if either it's a day hike, it's a three day trip, it's a 10 day trip, or if you're through hiking, you always could definitely use something different. So do not take this as advice for your first aid kit for backpacking. Just follow along, just showing you what I did with mine. And maybe you got some tips in the comments of what you did or things that have worked well for you or situations you got in where you needed something and you didn't have it. Maybe it's something I should add to my kit. I would love to hear that. So guys, let's go ahead and break right into it. I'm gonna show you what I have bought for my kit. So first thing is simple. I got a variety pack of Band-Aids. Um, I'm actually gonna put this entire 30 pack in there. I think this is one of the most useful things you could have in your first aid kit. So that is definitely the first thing on my list. So technically there's three of these medications, but today I only have two of them because some reason I did not buy the third one I thought I did. So one of them is ibuprofen. I don't use Tylenol because it never seems to work for me, but ibuprofen is a good anti-inflammatory. It's also good for pain. So I was definitely gonna be carrying some of those. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna keep them in, but I also wanna say I got a small pack of Rolaids because it's always good to have an anti-acid just in case heartburn decides to show up or if your stomach's just in a bad shape and you need something to try to help settle it, some good calcium, some good Tums, or anything like that. I bought these Rolaids because they're in a simple roll pack. I can easily throw them into this and be ready to go. So to put the Advil in, I have got these small little Ziploc bags I got on Amazon, and I'm probably gonna put about 10 of them in there when I pick up the Benadryl to keep for allergies, things like that. I'm gonna put about 10 of those in there also, and uh, have these two little Ziploc bags to keep simple, easy medication to grab in and keep it in my first aid kit. Now, another medication I have, and I have to be careful personally using this. I am a tad bit allergic to it, and this is uh, Bactrin or triple antibiotic. You can call it a bunch of different names. It's just a very simple over-the-counter antibiotic that you can put on a wound or put on anything that uh, is guessily like a cut or anything like that. Um, let's see what the description says. Helps prevent infection, minor cuts, scrapes, and burns. So I forgot about burns. That's another simple thing. So I have a tube of this. I'll be keeping it in there too. If I can eventually find a smaller tube, I probably will. This is a little bit big. But for now, I was able to get this really cheap. This is going to be perfect to keep in my first aid kit too. Now, another thing. These are definitely for cleaning a dirty wound. These, uh, I guess they're just alcohol pads. Um, probably going to put about mm, maybe uh, 10 to 15 of these in there. Um, to be able to have uh, alcohol pads ready. That way I can clean a wound, clean up a cut, 
clean a burn. And that way when I bandage it up, I have made sure that I've gotten any bacteria off of it. I can by using one of these pads. Now, another simple thing, these are for larger cuts. These are for cuts that I would consider definitely might need stitches, might not get away without having to use them. Um, or they also can hold you over if you're in a situation where you're away from getting medical treatment and you need to kind of keep a wound closed as best possible. These are butterfly closures. Um, these are good to like basically tape a wound shut and uh, I'm probably gonna keep, I mean, it's so small. It comes to 12 pack. I'm probably gonna put all of these in there. Now I've got two things left on this list. The first one of those is these two by two uh, gauze pads. These are good for cleaning a wound. Um, basically, uh, if you got like a, a lot of blood coming out of there, I hate to say that, but it helps good at absorbing it. These are all individually wrapped. I'm gonna keep uh, probably about half of these in there and then uh, I'll be able to uh, have something to be able to clean up a wound, um, to be able to absorb blood if you got something going on like that, that's draining or any drainage period. But then also with this, I can use this gauze and then use a tape. I'm only gonna keep one of these rolls, but use a tape to tape the wound with the gauze. You can also use this tape to uh, wrap up a Band-Aid if it keeps coming apart or just close up an area to try to keep it uh, concealed and uh, not let it get infected. I uh, keep Luca tape also. I feel like that's good more for blisters, things like that's a little bit tougher, a little bit more stickier. Um, or if I've got like a wound, or I mean not like a wound, but like a sore spot or whatever I'm trying to tighten up. But this tape is good, this cloth tape to keep in my first aid kit to wrap with the gauze or wrap up anything to stop it from falling apart. And mainly with this kit, I'm just mainly trying to, uh, I guess, comfort a wound until I can get it medically treated if it's bad enough, or I've got band-aids there if I simply just need to clean up an easy wound to make sure it doesn't get infected. Now, the thing for the Advil is if, if I hurt myself or if i am uh, got a really bad headache, you know, for Benadryl, if I get bit by something, or if I'm becoming allergically allergic reacting to something, I guess I'm not saying that right. I'm not a medical person, as you can tell, but uh, these all things will supply um, to be ready to go. Now, I thought about carrying a pair of scissors to help cut this stuff with, but I have a Swiss Army knife that has a small pair of scissors on it, and I think for cutting this tape and things like that, it should work plenty full enough because I'm trying not to carry that added weight. Um, some things that I haven't put in here that I've thought about using, one thing is like tweezers. Um, another thing is, is for like an anti-itch. Um, I might get that eventually if I can find some individually pack it. I think I could order some online. This is the kit I'm planning to use right now. Like I said earlier, I'd love to have your recommendations below if you have some ideas. Now let's go ahead and pack these up in this bag real quick. All right, guys, so that is it. That is my full kit. Um, if I want to add much more, I definitely could put tweezers in there, I think, and uh, add my Benadryl. If I want to add much more, I'm going to have to go over into the bigger size. If you're interested in one of these bags, check out Hilltop Packs. we got a code below and a link. Uh, you can get 10% off. Um, they make awesome products, and this is going to work perfect for my own first aid kit. Um, as you, if you watched one of my previous videos, I bought a smaller size one accident and there was no way all of this was going to fit in there. So I ended up having to order another one and I uh, finally got here and got all the supplies and now I've got my kit. If you, again, if you've got questions, make sure to hit me below. If you got comments on what I've done, I'd love to hear them. Guys, I appreciate you watching this video and maybe this gave you some ideas of how to make your own first aid kit, not advice, but some ideas for your own. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, we appreciate your support and we'll see you soon.